Thank you, and I urge that we all continue to serve our beloved nation with dignity and integrity. Let us build a better future for all. Mr. Speaker, for second time in a row, we did our homework, finished our assignment. The House of the People delivered 100%. We passed 100% of the priority legislative measures. Mr. Speaker, mission is accomplished. We approved House Bill number 8461 to strengthen the national health program for senior citizens through a comprehensive nutrition and wellness program to prevent poor nutrition and related illnesses in the elderly. And House Bill number 7447 to strengthen local health boards by ensuring the representation of barangay health workers whom we continue to recognize as essential frontliners in health promotion and advocacy. We have enacted Republic Act number 11984, or the No Permit, No Exam Prohibition Act, to ensure that financial constraints do not hinder our students' academic process. We have passed House Bill number 8210, or the Academic Recovery and Accessible Learning Act, or the Adult Program Act, to address and resolve the gap between current and expected learning competencies. Furthermore, House Bill number 10142, or the Early Education Care for Children Development Act, aligns early childhood care and development services with maternal, child health, and nutrition programs aimed at nurturing our youngest citizens from the earliest stages of their development. Hindi lang natin tinitiyak ang libre at abot kayang edukasyon para sa lahat. Sinisiguradon rin natin na walang sagabal para makataklus ang mga estudyante natin sa kailangan ng pag-aaral nila. <laughs> Employment, opportunities, and labor rights have been the focal point of our legislative agenda. Republic Act Number 11962, or the Trabaho Para Sa Bayan Act, focuses on improving the employability and competitiveness of Filipino workers through upskilling and reskilling initiatives, as well as support for micro, small, medium enterprises and industry stakeholders. Matibay po ang ating paniniwala. Kailangan natin ang mga investments para makilikha ng mga trabaho at hindi basta lamang na trabaho, trabaho na marangal at kayang bumuhay ng pamilya. Our social welfare initiatives are designed to uplift marginalized communities and ensure equitable access to resources. House Bill number 8463 or the Disaster Food Bank and Stockpile Act provides for the establishment of disaster food banks and stockpiles throughout the country to speed up the country's recovery and relief good distribution during calamities. House Bill Number 9506, or the Rental Housing Subsidy Program Act, seeks to establish a rental housing subsidy program for informal settler families to further alleviate their plight. These measures are crucial in providing immediate relief and long-term housing stability to those in need. House Bill Number 9978, or the Moratorium on Payment of Student Loan Act, grants the postponement of the collection of student loans for a reasonable duration during the following and the occurrence of disasters and other emergencies. We have approved House Bill Number 8456, or the Philippine Downstream Natural Gas Industry Development Act, this legislative action to increase the share of renewable energy in our power mix and promote sustainability reflects our commitment to address climate change 
and ensure a resilient future for our nation. House Bill Number 9663, or the National Water Resources Act, provides for the establishment of the Department of Water Resource Management and enhances disaster preparedness measures, which are critical steps towards safeguarding our environment and ensuring sustainable development. All these legislative measures that we had approved are not merely words on paper. They embody our commitment to the welfare of every Filipino and reflect our dedication to the creating a more just, prosperous, and dynamic society. As Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. As we conclude the second regular session of the 19th Congress, I must congratulate all of you for the achievements that I am sure will contribute to charting a prosperous path for our beloved nation. We have steadfastly focused on our legislative works and ensured that our efforts align with the needs and the aspirations of the Filipino people. Let us carry with us the understanding that our work is not just a responsibility, but a noble privilege, a chance to uplift our fellow Filipinos, leave a lasting imprint on our society, and pave the way for a more prosperous tomorrow. I am deeply grateful to every member of the House, our tireless secretariat headed by our reliable Secretary General and Sergeant at Arms and our devoted congressional staff. Your dedicated efforts have always been one of the keys to our success. Special thanks go to our esteemed Senior Deputy Speaker and our Deputy Speakers, our resolute Majority Leader, accompanied by his ever-reliable Senior Deputy and Assistant Majority Leaders, our hard-working counterparts in the minority, led by the equally diligent minority leader and our dedicated committee chairpersons. We also recognize the invaluable contributions of the contractual employees, janitorial services, and security personnel, most especially the media, our partner in disseminating legislative information to the people. We sincerely appreciate your commendable work. <laughs> While we have achieved significant milestones, our journey is far from over. Let us march forward with a renewed sense of purpose, fortified by courage and unwavering determination, poised to confront the trials that lie ahead. Thank you, and I urge that we all continue to serve our beloved nation with dignity and integrity. Together, united in our resolve, let us build a better future for all. Tamo nga salamat, hayong natatanan, mabuhay ang Pilipinas, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Mr. Majority Leader, Mr. Speaker, for second time in a row, we did our homework, finished our assignment. The House of the People delivered 100%. We passed 100% of the priority legislative measures. Mr. Speaker, mission is accomplished. Mr. Speaker, I move to adjourn sine die, the second regular session 
of the 19th Congress of the Republic of the Philippines. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The second regular session of the 19th Congress of the Republic of the Philippines is adjourned sine die. Hello sa lahat ng mga follower ni Lintoy Marshall TV, binabati ko kayo. This is me, Sanka Jan Jan, anyway. At ayun, subscribe niyo pa yung channel ni Lintoy Marshall TV. Isang solidong at malupit na solid Marcos at malupit na vlogger. So ayun, subscribe niyo na. Mopay na auto, Sanka. Mopay man yung auto.